Thanks for viewing this video today. My name is Sherry White. I'm from Fountain of Life Ministries International, uh, home based in Athens, Georgia. Uh, we invite you to our website and just to uh, view the other videos that, that are on there and the posts that are on there. Uh, we want to talk to you today concerning harvesting. You know, this is harvest time. It is the season of harvest. It's a season of reaping for God's people to reap what they have sown. And, and hopefully you have sown good things and good ground. And God's blessings uh, need to be reaped today, need to be harvested today. In Matthew 10, verse 37, Jesus says unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plentiful, is plenteous, but the laborers are few. And I was thinking about this scripture and I thought, you know, Lord, that's more than people coming into the kingdom and being born again. It is harvesting the promises of God, the blessings of God. You know, healing is a blessing from God. It is a, a, something that we can harvest in our lives. Financial uh, freedom is another blessing that we can harvest from God. And so I encourage you today as you listen to the word that you will just let that your faith rise up and you will begin to speak out and harvest those things that belong to you. Uh, marriages, uh, someone to care about you, uh, freedom in your mind and freedom in your body, uh, freedom uh, to, to do what God has called you to do and, and fulfill your purpose and your destiny. Uh, in this life. You know, in Hebrews chapter 4, God says there is a rest for the people of God. There are people who call me on a daily basis and want prayer. Uh, they want prayer for their children, for their marriages, uh, for God to meet their uh, financial needs. And, you know, we pray with them and, and we're glad to do that. But I am telling you something today that there is a rest for a peop the people of God. In Hebrews 4.11, it says that we are to labor, labor. Remember, the laborers are few. There are few people out there that are really harvesting what God has already provided for them. And But we are to labor into that rest of God. You know, another thing that we need to be harvesting in our lives is peace. Peace that passes understanding. You know, and Jesus says in John 14, 27, I leave you my peace. I give you my peace. Not as the world gives, but as the Lord gives. You know, that's the kind of peace that we need. The, the peace that passes over our carnal uh, thinking. Uh, peace that passes what's going on in our bodies. Peace uh, that, that passes all understanding. Jesus left for us and it can be harvested today just like rest can be harvested and peace uh, can be harvested a third thing that can be harvested is prosperity you know God says in 3 John verse 2 beloved I wish above all else that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Right now, I am speaking to your spirit man, but I know that your your soul is going to take hold of this. Your soul, and when two agree, when the spirit, your spirit and your soul agree, then the body has to follow, and also you will have whatsoever you have come into agreement on, whether it's healing, prosperity, rest, peace, um, forgiveness, whatever it might be, then it comes to you. Hallelujah. Don't you want to harvest today? Don't you want to harvest the blessings of God? You know, it says in um, John 10.10 10, that the thief, the devil, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And he's on the job 24-7. And he does his job well. That's what he, that's what he does. Uh, in 1 Peter chapter 5, it says that that he roams about and roars as a lion, not that he is the lion, because we know that Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. 
but he thinks that, that he can roar and scare us and bring fear into us. And that's, that's one thing that we've been delivered of. We have been delivered from fear. Praise the name of Jesus. Fear of dying. Fear of going bankrupt. Fear of, of our mate or our spouse uh, um, not being faithful to us. We can be free uh, of thinking about our children going to jail or to prison. You know, we can be free of all of those things and, and free of fear. Uh, is is very valuable to us, but but he does his job well. But the last part of that scripture said, "But I have come, I have Jesus has come to give you life and to give you life more abundantly. We need that life. We need that abundant life that that God has given us. We can harvest it today. We can harvest it. I know that there are those of you out there that you have given." You have given faithfully your tithe. You have given faithfully to those ministries. You've given faithfully to the homeless. You've given faithfully to all the people that God has laid upon your heart to give to. And now's the time to call in a harvest. And right now, I do that for you. I call in the harvest in your finances in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, may you be abundantly blessed in all areas of your life. May you, God's child, begin to stick in the sickle and bring forth a harvest. You know, in the book of Joel, if we turn over there, I love the book of Joel because it is today. It is for today. And in the book of Joel, he says to stick our, the sickle in and bring forth the fruit or bring forth um, the, the abundance that God has given unto us in the book of Joel. It's right after Hosea. You know, in chapter 3 of Joel, it says, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Prepare for war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war, or all the people of war, draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And then in verse 13, he says, Put you in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Hallelujah. God's blessings are already here. They are within you. The kingdom of God is within you. And so all of those blessings that abide in the kingdom of God, peace of mind, rest, prosperity, healing for your body, all of that is within the harvest area. And he says, put in the sickle. And, you know, what is the sickle? The sickle is your tongue. Speak it out. Speak out the word of God. Speak out that by uh, his stripes, by Jesus' stripes, you are healed. Uh, that's, a, that's a blessing. Harvest it today. Harvest it. In Philippians, it says that I can do all things through God who strengthens me. He gives you strength. That's a blessing. Harvest it today. Uh, put forth your words and, and begin to bring in that harvest uh, today. I pray for you today. I pray healing over you. That healing will just burst out of your barn. That, that all of the fruit uh, of the Spirit... Uh, will just come forth out of you. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, uh, temperance, faith, all of these, uh, the fruit will just come upon you and burst out of you uh, today in Jesus' name. That faith will burst out of you uh, in Jesus' name. I pray for that one who's been having migraine headaches. I speak those headaches gone in Jesus' name and that you will harvest healing in that area. I speak to those that have been depressed and, and, and wondering what you're going to do uh, in times like these. I am speaking that depression gone, and I am speaking that faith is rising up in you and that you know what is, is the will of the Father in that area. You know, Philippians 4.19 says that God, but my God, shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And I speak that over you today. I'm harvesting. 
I'm harvesting. I'm laboring uh, in God's vineyard. God's vineyard is the Word of God. And I bless you today in Jesus' name. Thank you for viewing.